Is the story that is now in showbiz legend the truth? You know, you were a bank manager, and then, whack, you were straight in a hit show like Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> That's right. Well, it, it's not exactly true that I went straight into this, because uh, uh, I left the bank and uh, went into show business, and within a week I was in rep, that sort of thing. And I went on for about five years before I got my break in television. I was in the Citadel and Shroud for a Nightingale, but then, whilst in pantomime at uh, Windsor, I got the call to ring the BBC about uh, being in Fools and Horses. Shock of my life. It must have been so nerve-wracking, though, the first day on the set with people like David and Nicholas. Well, you can imagine. I mean, uh, David and Nicholas, probably two of the most experienced television actors, and to be thrown in the deep end with them, uh, I was absolutely like that. Terribly nervous. And on the first recording, uh, I recall, uh, I forgot my lines. Oh. And when I made an exit, I went round backstage and I was walking up and down, you've blown it, this was your big chance and you've blown it, you've forgotten your lines. But uh, I didn't appreciate, as I do now, that in recording, uh, you, you could go through it again. But I went back, white as a sheet, <laughs> and David, Jason, he knew that uh, it had upset me for forgetting the line. And do you know, the very next line, he forgot. <laughs> <laughs>